from the minute your child is born, it changes your life, and you see your wife in a different light, man. I saw my baby born, and let me tell you something, what? I almost didn't make it. I was working the day my child was born, but thank God I was able to make it. I was, and I'm not an asshole, okay? He came two and a half weeks early. <laughs> my wife, I'm working in, uh, at the MGM Grand. I'm in Las Vegas, Nevada. I'm performing with a comedian named Brad Garrett. You guys know who that is? Yeah. Uh, everybody loves Raymond, right? <laughs> Brad and I, over the years, have become friends. We work together in Vegas. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, everything is fine. I'm checking in with my wife. Thursday, right before I walk on stage, my wife calls me. She says, you need to come home. We're having a baby. I ran over to Mr. Brad Garrett. I said, Brad, I have to go, man. We're having a baby. And Brad Garrett goes, of course you are. You're Mexican. <laughs> I go, you don't have to pay me for the days I'm not going to work. You're Jewish. <laughs> and that's how friends treat each other. And I'll be honest with you, man. I can't wait to go back to a time in this country when we can all talk like that to each other. And at the end of the day, we're all Americans. He was very nice, Mr. Brad Garrett. He wrote me a check for the entire week. Then he wrote me another check and he put it in an envelope and he wrote baby on it. Yeah, he goes, that's for your baby. I said, thank you, Brad. I got to my wife at three o'clock in the morning. She was in labor, continued to be in labor for 26 more hours. I'm with you. I could have done the show. She wanted to have a natural childbirth. Don't do those. Every few minutes, she'd hulk out at me. I'm gonna punch you in your face. I'm like, like there's a man in there. At one point, she called me to her like the devil herself. She was come here, motherfucker. The nurse goes, she's talking to you. <laughs> so I put my piece of pizza down. <laughs> Let me tell you something, people. You do not know the physical strength of your wife until you meet her in labor. And she grabs your titty with the strength of 15 gorillas <laughs> and shakes you. <laughs> Finally, the doctor lady, the doctor lady pulls me outside. She goes, we need to do something. I said, we. I go, I don't work here, lady. I'm scared. I came in here with a woman. There's a man in there. I go, look at my tit. She goes, we recommend an epidural. I said, we recommend an exorcism. I go, look, I don't know what epidurals are. And a lot of you fellas know this. They don't let you in there to see the epidural. They asked me to leave. That's weird to me, because I could watch my child come out, but I can't watch you do an epidural? What's an epidural? I don't think it's medicine at all, people. I think three priests come in the room. We had our baby. One of the best days of my life. My wife and I sat there together. My wife says, she says, how did it go with Brad Garrett? I go, oh, great, he paid us. My wife goes, oh my God, that was nice. I go, yeah, it was real nice. I said, he gave us another check. I opened up the envelope, $25,000. I told my wife, I said, we can't keep this. She goes, oh, yeah, we can. She says, I'm a Virgo, and uh, we're the keeper of all things money. So. <laughs> 